As a child, I watched my father scold my mother every day for the smallest of mistakes. And when she couldn't take it anymore, she started responding to his insults. And I watched my house turn into a verbal war zone. My father barely stayed at home with my mom and I had to stay up late just to get a glimpse of him even when my presence wasn't noticed. I would spend most of my nights praying to God not to give me a husband like my father, not to give me a family like the one I was born into. And he answered the prayer of that little innocent girl with this family. He gave me the best of husbands on earth, beautiful children, and my family was complete. Oh, darling, how was work today? Uh, it's okay. How was yours? Uh, left home. Yes, but uh, he said they will miss home and they want to come and spend the weekend with us. No, no. They should stay in school and face their studies. Is that not what they're supposed to be doing? Darling, is everything all right? I mean, recently you've been having problems with the kids coming home for weekends. You used to practically beg them to come home, even when they don't want to. So what's wrong? Yeah, Rebecca, that was when we were children. We were babies then. Now they are grown. Let them stay in school. Here's their studies. Okay? No, no, back and forth. They're their babies. Whatever now. What's that? Really? What is this? Benson! Talking to you, what's the meaning of this? I want out. Out? From what? I want out. I can't continue to live this life. Living this life a lie. A lie? Yes. This whole thing is a lie. I'm not feeling this anymore. In fact, I stopped feeling it a long time. Please, what is it that I've done that you cannot forgive me? 
okay, whatever it is, we can we can at least sit down and talk over it like we used to for the past 23 years. I don't want to talk. I don't want to call it talking. All I want now is for you to just sign this paper and let's be done with this thing, this thing, this lie. A lie, Dr. Phillips. You call this a lie. You call all we've had and shared for the past 23 years a lie. Then you will be married for over two decades and you think you can wake up one morning and just ask for a divorce without any reason. I, I don't remember you asking me for a reason when we decided to marry. So what makes you think now I have to give you a reason for wanting out? Don't just sign this thing and let me talk with it, okay? The only lie I see is that this paper you asked me to sign. And I will never sign this over again. Never sign. You will Why are you so stubborn, Betsy? I thought we had agreed on this issue, never to go ahead with it. No, no. You agreed not to go ahead with it, not me. See, if we chose to continue to live with Anita, pretending everything is okay between you, we love each other, lovey dovey, when you and I know that that is not true, well, it's a, I don't have a problem with that. But me, I can't do that. Okay? I can't do that. Which is why I'm getting out of this now. You know, at least you cannot force me to live with her. She can't. Okay. What about the children? What about Matthew and Nancy? What about them? Have you thought about what this decision of you, yours will, will do to them? But moreover, these kids are still young. I wouldn't. We want them to go through the, 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 the rigors of a broken home. Benson, if you cannot do it for Rebecca, at least do it for them. That's what I've been doing for close to one year now. Why not be doing that? More so, they are not kids anymore. Okay, they are grown now. And they will understand why I did this. Ah, what manner of children you want them to understand why their, their, their father will leave their mother? Moreover, Rebecca is a good woman. So loving, caring, and above all, a faithful wife. Benson, that woman married you 
where you had nothing. At least I know how she suffered to, to work day and night to feed you. You can't just wake up one night and decide that uh, you want to leave her. Why do you make it sound as if she did me a favor by marrying me? We both decided to get married. We were married. And we both enjoyed the wife last time. But I don't, I don't feel that anymore. I don't feel that anymore. It doesn't move me anymore. <sighs> but Lizzie does, eh? Benson, what is wrong with you? I thought Lizzie was a side chick. Oh, 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 a, a lady that uh, can be taken out when madame is indisposed. Or oh, maybe there is trouble in the house. Not a replacement. Lizzie can never be a replacement. You, you have to play by the, the rules of the game. I mean, the rules. Certainly, I did not teach you that. Benson, the first rule is never to see a sad chick better than the first lady. I tell you, this is not even about either Lizzie or Rebecca. It's about me. It's about what makes me happy. Okay? <laughs> okay. <laughs> and you think Lizzie will make you happy forever? My man, no young girl as beautiful as Lizzie is will fall in love with an aging man like you. Forget it. All she's interested in is your money. And that is my problem. You can't send Rebecca away. Rebecca will help you make your money to go and spend with another lady. Well, it's not like she's going to go away empty-handed. I've made arrangements to make sure that she's, she's well taken care of. I'll give her money. Mm -hmm. Yes. Really? She'll be rewarded bountifully. Really? Yes. And you think that much will pay for all the 23 years that she has lived with you as a faithful wife? Warming your bed, caring for you, cooking your meals, and above all, the children that she has given you. Come on, Benson. How much? Oh, listen, can we... End this now, okay? The day is fast spent, all right? Let's drink up your glass. It's okay. Bensi. Listen, Rebecca, if you don't want to sign... It's okay. It's okay, Benson. I understand. I'm an aging woman now. No longer the young girl that used to appeal to you 23 years ago. It's okay. I understand. I will sign the papers. You... what? Yes. I will sign the papers. But... only on one condition. Condition? Just 
me to keep living with her. That's the way it was when we first got married. A man tells you he's tired of living a life of pretense and wants to be free. The condition you are given is that you must continue to live like that. The life is running away from you for another month. Does that make any sense to you? I don't understand you. I mean, she might just want to have good memories of you before she leaves. Good memories? Then why delay the inevitable? She knows she's going to leave anyway. So why delay it? But I've told her I want out. I'm done. She has to leave my house. Mm -mm. Babe, no. No. I'm a woman and I understand her pain. Listen, if it's not that I love you more than life itself, I probably would have told you to just go back to your mind. But there's no life out there for me without you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. See, listen. You just tell her the best. Accept it. Go and give it this. Go and give up on me. It's going to be the most agonizing 30 days of your life. I agree. But knowing that I'm going to have you for the rest of my life, it's worth it. I'll wait. Are you sure? I'm sure. Okay. Well, I need to leave now. Okay. Uh-uh. See, I just need to go like that. days before you move in. Yes, babe. I've got a bad feeling about this. I think it should be for like a year now, right? It's another 30 days going to cost us. Do you know how I feel when I imagine that we're touching you? Do you know the pains I feel when I think of that? Old thing making love to you. This was your idea, right? You remember, right? So I don't see why it should bother you now. Why? Kind of heavy makeup and you allowed her. No, what was I supposed to do? Beat her. Not her father. My friend, will you go inside right now and wash up every bit of that makeup before your father comes home and sees it? Like he's even waiting to notice. What does that even mean? Wash every single makeup off your face before I come in myself.
housing unit is fully built. That can I do that with the park? No. No. See, I can only start one person to break back in there. And that is my wife, not my son. Huh? Nothing. I'll feed myself. How about Nancy? She's still sleeping. I guess so. Isn't that all she does now when she's around? Yes, I also tell um, them. Um, I won't be leaving the services for the next one. I will check my wife back and forth to work. And I will also transfer your salary if you are standing before the end of the week. Okay? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Happy days, and I have my freedom. That was her condition. Yes. You pretend to love her for 13 days before she signs the papers. Yes, that's her condition. But you know what? Because she's not going to come force her to sign the papers. Because uh, really, I don't have any evidence of infidelity or something on our part. So that's a condition. This is on time to tell you that. <laughs> but come to think of it, she's not promiscuous. No. Or she is disrespectful. So why then do you want to do that? Oh, Women well, like that are rare yeah. to find. Well, there you go again, Douglas. Come on now. Can we not talk about that right now? Well, really, I am not in the room for that. Come on. <laughs> you really never know what you have until you lose it. You never know what you are missing until it arrives. Okay, are we talking about something else now? Uh, yeah, yeah, okay. Hello, Mr. Thank you. Back home. But I can't, Austin. What am I going to tell my folks when I return? Come on now. I bet they will not even notice you didn't come home. Come on. They have too many pressing issues to bother about you. And what do you mean by that? Oh, they didn't tell you. Tell me what? Your parents are getting divorced. Yeah, your dad. He's filed a divorce against your mom. Last week. That's a lie, Austin. Come on now, please. I know you're young, but certainly not naive. 
Don't tell me you haven't noticed the tense atmosphere between your parents lately. Good night, I will seal those leaves. Now, where are you coming from? Isn't it obvious? I went out. Out where? And whose permission? Whose permission did you take before filing a divorce against mom? <laughs> I thought as much. Is she back? Yeah. So where did she say she's coming from? Rebecca, did you tell the kids about the divorce? No, I didn't. Why? I think they know. How is that? I don't know, but uh, Nancy just referred to it. Send up a sister to her own family. So we are too young to understand these things. The more reason why we shouldn't even be having this conversation right now. Please, Dad. Don't 
tell Matthew about it. So it's okay. Have a nice day, Dad. Please leave. Okay, son, we don't do anything. Mm -hmm. We just follow our hearts. You see, your dad and I were made for each other. Wow. Our love was not made here on earth. It was ordained in heaven, yeah. which is why we cannot do without each other. So right? that, sure. Proceed. Matthew. Matthew. When you find a woman, a good woman for a while. Everything falls to place. Hmm? See that? She becomes the center of your life. She becomes the most important thing in your world. You live alone for her. For her. And they can only be her and no one else. Hmm? See that? So, well, you'll see when you fall in love, you'll see. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think there is a woman out there for me. Why? Because if I cannot find a woman who will love and treat me the way mom loves and treats you. Excuse me. You will find one. So you will find someone better than mommy. Okay? Jesus. Jesus. Are you okay? Can't you even hear you with that floppy noise? <laughs> so, why haven't you been coming to work anymore? Your dad is supposed to be your mom's driver for the next one month. Suppose? Yes. Part of your mom's prerequisites for signing the divorce papers was that your father drives her to and from work for the next one month. So that's why they've all been acting so loved up of late. Yeah. For me, on the other hand, you know, I'm not acting right. But you know, I truly love you, right? Mm -hmm. What is it? What is it? Stop it, Austin. I know where this is driving us. And I've told you before, I'm already. But that was two months ago. 
Yes, it was. And I'm still not ready. Come on, babes. Do you know I love you more than anything in this world? And I'm ready to take everything. I'm ready to accept anything at all that comes with you. Is that anything that I'm not ready for? You come on, we've, we've already come to an understanding and we've agreed that sex wasn't part of this relationship. I thought you understood that. Look, I just... It's okay, it's fine. It's fine, I understand. It's okay. It's alright. Why now? It's Benson, he's here. But what is he doing here? He's not supposed to be here. I was just wondering why you're here when you're supposed to be taking her to lunch. Yeah, take who to lunch? Your wife, her condition, taking her for lunch for the next one month. Oh, yeah. 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 That was not part of the deal. That was your idea. And I decided to take that out today so I can be with you. I've not been with you for a long time now. Yes, 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 you're right. Yes, it wasn't. Uh, but, you know, we don't want to provoke her, right? You yourself said me that she has every right not to, you know, sign the divorce papers. And we don't want that, eh? do we? In fact, I can't stand it. I can't. That's why I'm telling you to go and be with her for the next, you know, one month. But the total good, eh? Babe, come on, just, just go. Oh, okay, okay. Just go. Okay, okay. Yeah. okay. If that's what you like, I will go get her for lunch, okay? Yes, okay. It's not what I want. It's, it's not what, what must be done. Okay. Okay. Ready for lunch? Yeah, with you anytime. <laughs> good, good. Please just give me a minute, let me tie the things up. Okay.
Raffel. I think I'll have to go with kitchen me. Yeah. For this to be ready. I promise I will hurry up. Right. Just this in the soup and everything be ready. All right. All right. <laughs> Thank you, baby. Thank you. Sorry, I, I didn't mean to disturb your sleep. Oh, actually, I wasn't sleeping in any. Oh. I just turned up in the light. Oh, okay. Well, I just thought I would check on you. Okay, well, no, no, let me disturb you. Thanks, Dad. Okay. The lights. Oh, sorry. Have you ever thought about how our lives would be like after the one month? I'm not ready for this thing you want. We still have a year before we graduate. I don't see why we should be in a hurry. That is not what I mean. Yes, I'll, I'll, I'll make sure I let you know when I'm ready. Okay? Yes. See you on Monday. Yeah, good night. Uh, I didn't mean to disturb the conversation. Okay. It's not what you think, Dad. You don't owe me an explanation. You are grown now, okay? You are grown now. So, so who is she? She's just a girl in my class. Who wants us to be friends? Ah, okay. And you don't want to be her friend? Not really, Dad. Not really, Dad. I I don't know enough about how to start a relationship yet. Oh, uh, yeah, I can understand. 
it's, it's good to be to be careful. Yeah. Yes, yes. I I want to make sure she's not like other girls on campus who go around sleeping with lecturers for praise and rich men and money. I want to make sure she's like money now. Money will perfect like mom, right? Yes. <laughs> That's a good one. Yeah. But listen, so yeah. you must understand that you can't find other women like mom out there. Okay. Mm. Your mom is who she is. You can never find another one of her out there. Mm. But that you must be the luckiest man on head. Having mom out to yourself. Okay. You are you telling me how much worth your mom? No, that is not what I mean. You are good for her, as she is to you. I only envy you. Well, you're right. Yes, uh, she has been good to me. She has been good to me. For 23 years, she has loved me the way she loved me and cared for me when we were still dating. You know, I pray every time that if I come to this world again, I want God to direct me to her so she can be my wife again. That's all I want. We will see who gets to her first. Yeah. What? In my next world, I'll be looking for her as my wife, not my mom. <laughs> well, um, I'm looking forward to such challenge, young man. <laughs> yeah, Dad. Uh, that's a good one. That's a good one. Dad, good night. Yes, good night. Good night. <clears throat> to your business dinner. Uh, it's all right, I understand. Okay. Understand. Ten days. What? Ten days person of my whole life. Twenty three years will come to an end. I am pregnant. Ah, huh? when? Who's? What do you mean, how, when, who's? Who's? Of course, it's yours. Come on. How can it be mine? When my madam's husband's a regular visitor. No, don't you even dare. Don't you dare go there. Because Benson and I only started dating two months ago, and not up until two weeks did we have sex. And when we did, we used contraceptives. So what are you driving at? If I, if I understand correctly, what you're saying is I am responsible for 
for this? No. I meant Jesus is responsible for this. Dumbass. Of course it's yours. How on earth could you be this careless? Is it you supposed to be the older one in this relationship? And what does being older have to do with getting pregnant? You see, the last time I checked, whenever you're on me and you're pounding me, you don't do it like you're younger. See, eh? I'm pregnant. Getting rid of this pregnancy is. I do no such thing, Austin. Like hell, you will. Lizzie, I'm not ready to father any child. Wait, so all the I am doing this for us so that I can gather enough money to marry you. They were all lies. They weren't. Believe me, they weren't babes. But the truth is, I'm not ready to father any child now. Come on, you check it out now. Check what's out, Austin. No, tell me, check what's out. I promised you that. All we need is just gather enough money as much as we can from rents and more. Okay? But until then, I am keeping this pregnancy. And there's nothing you can do about it. You either accept it or it. This time, I'm not going to take out the pregnancy. I can't continue like this. No, I can't. Okay, uh, are we ready? This is not the dress you wore on uh, Matthew's award day sometimes last year? Yes, why? Well, I remember you had complained that it seems kind of tight on you, but now it doesn't seem so. It's a little loose. Is it? Yes. Well, shall we go now? Yeah. Come on, let's go. What's happening? You've been acting funny lately. I don't know what you're talking about. Don't act dumb for me, babes. I've been in Juna for over two years. I know you better than you know yourself. What's happening? Why are you avoiding How can you be tired? How can you be tired when we're almost there? But I am not talking about the game. Oh, the game, that, that's confusing. So, what is it that you're tired of? You, of everything. Excuse me? Well, I'm not in love with you anymore. When I see you, I don't get excited. You're joking, aren't you? Now listen to me. This whole thing, it 
was my idea. I planned everything, including your meeting with Benson. Oh, oh, I see. So you, you think because everything is working out for you now, you want to keep me out of the loop? Oh, come on, you yourself. I've no need to be ambitious or not foolish. You think because you see yourself as his wife in a couple of days, you're going to keep me out of it and enjoy the money to yourself? You don't get it, do you? It is not about the money. Okay, yeah. When we started, it was about the money. But right now, it's... I'm in love with him. I love him. Like, when he's not here... Dreamer! You are a dreamer. Now listen to me, and listen very carefully. I want to see your call in the next 48 hours, apologizing for this nonsense charade you're putting on. Please, if I don't see that call in the next 48 hours, I'll make sure you never, never see him again. You can't do it. You won't. Do it! Oh, I will be good at it. I will! Yes, I will. It was my relationship, my relationship that got you close to him, remember? The same relationship. I'm gonna use all of it to pull you a million miles away from him. Dare me. I am carrying a story. I don't give a rat what is it to die inside of you. Does it look like I do? The only thing that matters to me is my share of this deal. A deal I initiated, my own idea, because we're done and I'm not the inside of you. Hello? Nancy, can you come to my house, please? Yes, it's very urgent. Austin, what's wrong with you? Ah, wait. No. Oh, wait, <laughs> calm down. You just called me, so... See, my, my adrenaline is hot. Like, it's very hot. It has never been this hot before. I need to cool it off. Please, wait. Ah, not on my body, Austin. <laughs> So why, why then did I invite you here? Oh, so you called me here just to cool off your speedy adrenaline, right? Mm. But that's not happening. I've told you from the word go. And you accepted to wait until I was ready. But I guess I was lying to you. Goodbye, Austin. My friend, where the hell do you think you're going to? <laughs> where do you think you're going to? Oh, so you think because I'm not the son of a rich man, I cannot have sex with you, right? What do you mean by that? I knew it was going to come to me, so I made proper arrangements for it. Austin, what's wrong with you? What are you doing with the knife? I mean, I thought you you said that you loved me. L love my teeth. I was into all of this because of your father's wealth. But then I realized you are very stingy. <laughs> take them, take off those clothes. Take off every piece of clothing on your body. I said, take them off! Please, wait, wait. Okay, okay, okay. Off! Okay. I'll rip them into pieces. Take it off! Take it off! <laughs> All you had to do was give me this thing in peace. But no, I must take it in pieces. Well, now I just did. Now listen to me and listen very carefully. If I hear a word of this, if you mention this to anybody, I'll make sure I find you wherever you are and how long it takes and I'll rip you into pieces. Nonsense. Now get your dirty self off my bed and out of my house. Out! So, how many days left? Seven more days. How time flies. <laughs> Are you sure you want to do this? 
Why are you still asking me this now? <laughs> because I can't imagine how you would pretend to love Rebecca for weeks without realizing that she's the best thing that has happened to you. Oh, oh man. Take your mind back. How you guys were where back then in on campus. You were practically in I know, I know. I am in a fixed, okay? Three weeks ago, I want nothing but to get rid of Rebecca and be with Lizzie. Now? I don't know. I don't know. I don't. I still want to be with Lizzie. But, Rebecca, I feel so sorry for her. You know, actually, she has done nothing to deserve this treatment. She hasn't wronged me in any way. I'm glad you are saying this. <laughs> So how are you going to go about this? Well, um, you know me. I'm a man of my world. And my world is my bond. Okay, so I'm going ahead to the house. Yeah. Let's see. Let's see. So, um, how, how far were the two friends are supposed to deliver at the IDP? Yeah, yeah, we have been in touch with the supplying agency. Okay. And they, I think by now they should be moving this yeah, place. Yeah, they Yeah. Mm -hmm. But we don't want these press boys to get in our case. Yeah, I understand. Mm -hmm. Right. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Hello, doctor. How have you been? It's been a while. Oh, my goodness. Thank you. Anyway, I'll see you later. All right. Lizzie? Nice to see you again. Okay. 
So this is about Rebecca's condition. Yes, it is. Remember, I had to, I had to live this life, you know, be nice to her, take her to work in the morning, take her to lunch in the afternoon, and take her back home. You were good to that, didn't you? So why are you complaining now? I'm not complaining. Maybe, no, you can just start with me. I'm sorry, sweetie. You know, I have to do this right. Okay, so that my wife can sign the paper. Your wife? Yes, Rebecca. You know, this is day 25. Five more days, it will be over. Five more days. Then, five more days, and your mind and mine alone. Five more days. You can have the drink in your Can you smile now? Just give me a smile. Actually, I said, um, there was a more than that. What happened to the bananas? Oh, you didn't buy the banana, you'll be back. No, I cannot. Oh, yeah. Wait, let me put bananas finished. I'll get some tomorrow. <laughs> I know it's my favorite. Yeah, I know. <laughs> they talked of returning back to school tomorrow, but. Why? I'll miss you, Mom. I'll miss your treats. Mm -hmm. you miss Mom or you miss her food? <laughs> Whichever way. Mom's food, Mom. I'll miss you too, baby, right? I'll miss you too. Nancy. Nancy? Hey, baby, what is wrong with you? Your mother is talking to you. Ryan? I heard that crying in her room last night. Ryan, what is wrong with you? Ryan, talk to me. Why are you crying? Honey, I'm sorry, sir. You, you shouldn't be so quick to be sorry. Because by the time I'm done with you, you will be sorry, and you need to be sorry for yourself for the rest of your entire life. What's that? You came into my house, corrupted my child, and raped my child. And you sit your sorry self in front of me and tell me you are sorry. It was transferred a question from Lizzie's disappointment. Why is that my business? How does that concern me? What's my business with what Lizzie did? Lizzie? Who, who is Lizzie? Your mistress. You know Lizzie? Yes.
see it, please? Okay. See, I, I know I've been a, a jerk of a father to you and your brother lately. And, and I take full responsibility of the things that have been going on. Die tomorrow peacefully on my matrimonial bed. With that smile of fulfillment. Knowing that my family is in perfect condition. That's good.
I don't understand what you're trying to say. What do you mean it's not high to you? It's me because I'm not going to divorce my wife. Yes, listen, I cannot leave my wife and my children. Sorry about that, okay? You are sorry. You are telling me you are sorry. You left me here for a month waiting for you to come and get me. Yes. And then you walk in here and then you are telling me it's not, it's not your time. Oh, what are you saying? Well, about that, I'm sorry about that. I sincerely apologize about that. As a matter of fact, I'll, you know, I'll make it up to you, okay? I will deposit a large amount of money in your account. But I can't leave my wife. I can't leave my wife and my children. Sorry about that, okay? And I will, I'll put some money in your account. Benson, I'm pregnant. Oh, oh, come on now, Lizzie. Come on, see. You are not carrying my child. You are carrying us to this child. Oh, you're surprised. I mean, your boyfriend that you're planning to spend my money with? I mean, you also love him with all your money. Sold him for me and everything. That's you. Ah, come on, you see. You have a good life, okay? Yes, yes. No, she collapsed and was What happened? She was frustrated. What happened to you? Sir. Rebecca. 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 Talk to me. Rebecca. The joy of every woman is to die knowing that she was loved by the people she loves the most. 
You're the person I love the most, Benson. Which is why I couldn't bring myself to telling you that I was dying of cervical cancer. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.